welcome back to another vlog. Um, going to run out a little bit here. Uh, and I just want to take the time to talk a little bit. Um, a lot of my friends from my old job where I used to work at at Walmart, you know, they know they know where I work at now. Um, they know. You know, I, I work on, at the port dealing with the cars and everything. But uh, in case any of them watch this video, I want to go ahead and clarify what I do. Um, uh, in the beginning, I still work with uh, G Star, which is, I guess you can say, a temporary service. Even though you can work there as long as you want, you know, they don't, they won't fire you over. It takes a lot to get fired for them. So. Um, yeah, I worked through them. In the beginning, I was I was a driver driving the cars. You know, so I started working there in November. Um, but recently, uh, probably about three weeks now, I'll say, yeah, I think three weeks. Um, I started working. I guess it's with the uh, shipping coordinators, but it's, you know, like I said, still G-Star, not company or anything, but uh, basically I deal with the cars that come off the ship, whether it be, normally what it, what I do is I just go out and hang the uh, papers in the windows and stuff like that, get them ready to be shipped out. Um, it's a lot of time out, out in the sun, uh, but that's all right. Uh, and I guess one reason that I wanted to do this was because it was something different. I like to drive, you know, and I don't want to do that all the time and get burnt out on it. So I enjoy it too much to get burnt out on it, so I don't want to take a chance. So, really, this was, and this is also a, a step in the right direction, I think. Um, it's, it's a step that can get me to the company there anyway so uh, so that's basically what my day consists of is you know getting a list and the papers and just going to the location taking a van to the location and uh, getting out and uh, putting papers in the windows and stuff job I mean it, it, at first it was a little difficult learning it but it's pretty easy you know once you do it so basically what you know like I said what we do is we get the cars ready to be shipped out to the dealerships and stuff going anywhere important right now I'm just uh, uh, going to get some something to eat so uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along I've been I haven't had a chance to do any videos recently because you know working long and late uh, normally five, five o'clock every day just got flip before five today so
six speed. It's, it's weird how uh, now they've even got even more, you know, seven speed manuals and stuff. At least I know the Corvettes do. I think the new Camaros even. But this, in my, in my car, which, you know, is an RS Camaro uh, V6, you know, six speed. You can't ever get through all six gears before you hit the speed limit on, on, city, on surface roads. I always wondered about that. Even when you're trying to baby it through the gears, still don't. You still get to the speed limit before you get six gear. I guess it's really only meant, only meant for cruising, though. And also on a highway when you're cruising it, you know, speed limit is set, uh, set at 70 on the highways around here. <clears throat> So, occasionally, you know, I do like 80, you know, um, and you need to pass someone or get around, you know, when you're in sixth gear and doing 80 mile an hour and you put, you put the throttle down, it, it picks up pretty easy, pretty quickly, I thought, you know, I don't think she have a speedometer right there, but uh, I'm in sixth gear now, uh, RPMs is about 1500, Sarper Street. If I put the gas down, it's not real fast here, you know, in six gear for, at that low of an RPM. But it doesn't bog out like some do. I had a pickup truck a while back. It was the 2000 and uh, I think it was an 8 Dodge Dakota. And it had a six speed manual. If you, if you was to do that in that thing, it would just like bog itself down. make this video too long uh, and boring so uh, I'll go ahead and end it here uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did leave a like don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification of future uploads uh, thanks and have a blessed day